Donald Trump Jr. expressed concern Tuesday about the dwindling number of White House staffers loyal to his father, who has railed about an anonymous op-ed by a senior administration official who painted a grim picture of the president. I think there are people in there that he can trust, it's just, it's a much smaller group than I would like it to be, Trump Jr. 40, said on ABC's Good Morning America. It would be easier to get things done if you're able to fully trust everyone around you, he added. I think that's a shame. Trump Jr. said he believes a low-level person penned the scathing op-ed in the New York Times that described a morally unmoored president whose more misguided impulses are thwarted by staffers. This is very low-level person who will throw their name on an op-ed and basically subvert the vote of the American people who elected my father to do this job, said Trump Jr. Calling the column pretty disgusting and sad. Listen, I think you're subverting the will of the people. I mean, to try to control the presidency, while not the president. You have millions and millions of Americans who voted for this, he said, adding that the Justice Department should investigate the author. The president's eldest son, who runs the Trump Organization with his brother Eric, also dismissed famed investigative journalist Bob Woodward's newly released tell-all, Fear. People who are well respected in this administration have come out and denied it, he said. If General James Mattis had an issue with my father, he would say it to his face, he said of the defense secretary, who, according to the expose, compared the president to a fifth or sixth grader. Trump Jr. also told ABC that he was not worried about special counsel Robert Mueller's sweeping probe into Russian election meddling and possible collusion with the Trump campaign. I'm not because I know what I did and I'm not worried about it, he said, again denying that he spoke to his father about his June 2016 Trump Tower sit-down with a Russian lawyer promising dirt on Hillary Clinton. Finally, Trump Jr. acknowledged that the Democrats could win back the House during the midterm elections 